Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars, and here we have another celebrity making an assassination threat against Trump. This dirtbag did it in one of his songs. I say that in quotes because I don't care. I can tell you right now, I don't care whether it's uh, country rap, downtown rap, Motown rap, whatever. I don't consider it to be music. I don't care whether the rapper is white, black, green, yellow, whatever. I don't consider it to be music. M music has cadence. It has... Uh... Form. Rap does not. So it's not music as far as I'm concerned. I just want to get that straight. Okay, so this dirtbag named Big Sean... Delivered the following uh, lyrics. Unlike mentor Kanye West, Big Sean isn't pals with Donald Trump. The president stopped by. The rapper stopped by Hot 97 this week. I have no idea what it is. Where he delivered a freestyle uh, when promoting his new album. I decided on West. Label good music. You know, you proud of me. He took me out of debt, Sean Rant. The, I know Jay proud of me. He put me this around my neck. <coughs> and I might just kill ISIS with the same ice pick that I murdered Donald Trump with. That I murdered Donald Trump in the same night with. That's just lovely. He can probably get away with it as well. <laughs> they all of them seem to get away with it. Uh, these celebrities. They all of them seem to get away with uh, threatening murder and mayhem, threatening to overthrow the country. Now, if I did that, I'd be in the handcuffs. You and I did that, but... I guess these uh, people are special or something. They have special privileges. Heated freestyles laid over an instrumental to freeways what we do. Although Sean, 28, spewed the politically charged rap, I call it threat, during a radio interview, Eminem actually calls Trump a I'm assuming that means bitch and a song no favors on the album. I decided it dropped on Friday on both Good Music and Duff Jam Records. Kanye's promoted the album on Twitter once it became on I available on iTunes. Unlike Sean, the famous rapper said that said he has popular positive things about Trump. He even met with him at Trump Tower after he was elected. <sighs> Unbelievable. So I don't know who this is, but he's obviously a barbarian. It was only a barbarian would make a public threat against the president. When you say in your own home, I don't care, but uh, as long as you don't put it into action, but public ce celebrities don't have the right to do this. But, since we don't have a functioning justice system that uh, will put these people in their place for doing this, uh, they can get away with it. Uh, you know, I went off on Sarah Silverman. Uh, she's Jewish. I've gone off on whites. It doesn't matter what the race or the ethnicity is. Wrong is wrong. There are plenty of uh, white folks in Hollywood who are completely off the rockers. I don't play it by race. I play it by ideology and how they act and so forth. Plus, if they make threats, I tend to get rather angry about it. Making threats against public officials, no matter who they are, is illegal. You can't do it. 
You can criticize their policy all day long. But you can't threaten them. Hell, I sit here and I mock liberals all day, all the time. You're allowed to do that. Mocking liberals, that's one of the main things I do. You're not allowed to threaten them. That crosses the line. So, while I may uh, call Charles Schumer chuckles just to irritate him, I'll never threaten him. I'll vote against him next time he's up for re-election. Well, that's another story. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.